man, sometimes 60 seconds isn't enough to say anything at all. Matthew 6 and 33. Um, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all shall be added unto you. Kingdom of God is heaven, the place where we all wish to obtain at the end of the days here, where God is sovereign ruler over it, um, as he is everything else, but it's his home. And it's our end game goal there. The righteousness is his an attribute of God, completely ethical, moral, upstanding that he holds. Biblically, it's your moral code conduct that's aligning with the principles of God. And in the Quran, it references our faith. So combine all of those things. This scripture is telling us that our end goal, our maintaining thought process should be on uh, being righteous enough, seeking him enough that God grants us the grace to enter the kingdom of heaven. If we set our mind to this and this is our main purpose, everything that we Everything else that we need which be added on to us, meaning to be provided to us by God. That's easier said than done. But if you take every day, one day at a time, every minute or hour, one step at a time, instead of trying to pile everything onto you one by one by one, and just watch your character. Everyone has to watch their character. Everyone has to monitor the decisions they make how they make them why they make them and people who don't even believe in god apply the principle of god most of the laws in this country are based off the laws of god so if you literally to me one we're supposed to love one another you don't have to be in love it's not the same kind of love but you need to have consideration and care um of other people so when you treat them you treat them accordingly whether you know them or not with a certain amount of respect and consideration Respect is given, trust is earned. The new generation has, um, I give respect when, when you earn my respect. That's not how it goes. Everyone that you should encounter, if you have respect for yourself, you should give respect onto them. You should have care and consideration for others because the Lord tells you how you treat people and how you judge people is how you will be judged seven times fold. <clears throat> so you should walk very carefully when referencing or dealing with other people, whether you know them or not. The thing is that you do, you should wonder if they're honest. Um, if they're upright, if your attentions are pure, that's not really that hard to decide. And everything that you do, what I used to tell my kids when they were younger, anything that you're thinking about doing, think about the possible consequences and who all it could affect, not what you want to happen or what you hope would happen, all the different things that could happen. Once you weigh those out and you should have a clearer picture of whether what you're deciding to do is right or wrong and you'll be on the right path. Once you're able to do this <clears throat> in turn, then it won't be it won't be so difficult to build a pattern of this for your thinking so each day the small things that you do if you slowly apply these patterns these thoughts this process it's it'll be, it'll take discipline at first but then it'll become a habit and it'll be a good habit not a bad habit and your mind will automatically click to these thoughts that to aligning with these principles before you do something and That'll slowly build you to the right path to making righteous decisions. Um, ultimately, where we all want to end up is in heaven. The world here, life is temporary. It's not permanent. There's so, no such thing as death. The wages of sin is death. Be, and the pain is eternal. If you want to choose a life of sin and, and you want to spend your eternity in pain, in dwelling without God then go right ahead but if you're like most of us we can't imagine that half of us can't grasp the fact that life is temporary and we believe that the physical death is the end the physical death is not the end we spiritually we live on eternally just like God made us um, and hopefully your end goal is to reside in heaven with God and to enjoy and have a peaceful end um, you can't do that without making that your main point of view I always say that we do have to choose. You have to, it's going to be, are you going to be on God's side or the devil's side? And yes, it is that serious. And yes, it is that simple. It's black or white, good or evil. What are you going to do? Each decision that you make, no matter how small, could possibly and potentially be something to hurt another person or hurt you in the future. It doesn't always have to affect you now. It can affect you later. So make all those decisions with that in mind. And just remember, Matthew 6 and 33 promises us that if we keep God in line, if we keep our um end goal of the kingdom of heaven and what it takes to get there if we keep a process a thought process of trying to obtain righteousness or at least living and applying those principles then we are more likely to have what we need usually when you're not concerned with other things 
everything else lines up. When you're taking care of business and doing what you're supposed to do, and our business is supposed to be God's business. Our business is supposed to be about being a disciple of Christ, bringing others into the word of God, encouraging them to have a relationship with God, and to share his love with the world. So that when people look at you, they see that, that God, a reflection of God within you. Work on that, try and obtain that, and he will provide everything else that you need. It will be added on to you without you having to go through straight, great um, efforts, restraints. You won't have to manipulate, you won't have to scheme, you won't have to figure it out. Um, I'd rather go through the trenches trying to earn a spot in heaven, knowing that grace is what's going to give it to me as long as I behave properly. Not necessarily that <clears throat> any of us are good enough for it because we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but his grace is in abundance to us who have faith. Um, hinting on the fact that the Quran indicates that faith is a form of righteousness. Keep your mind on that. I'd rather work hard to please God and get into heaven and have everything else taken care of for me than to work hard at everything else and risk going to hell. Because you're going to go crazy for 30 different things, trying to get 30 different things done your way. Exhaust yourself trying to get it done your way. Uh, living as man does and applying his principles and his I got it myself, I'm going to take care of it, go get it attitude, that wears you down. I would rather spend my time worried about pleasing God and entering his kingdom. And if my choices are reflective of that and let him provide everything else I need, then to chase everything else I need and let getting into the kingdom of God and um, replicating his righteousness as a reflection than anything else. He's a, he is not a man that he should lie and he keeps his word. So I would encourage you today to seek the kingdom first and the righteousness of God. Keep your morals and principles adept to what he would approve of and he'll take care of everything else. Have a blessed day and thank you for joining me at Journey of the Word Ministries, home of every name known to God. Where we nurture relationship over religion and all are welcome regardless of your belief. I hope you've prayed plenty this week and I hope you continue to do so in your own fashion, shape, or form. And I hope you found some type of way to communicate with him and begin your day off each week. Bye-bye.